Today I'm going to try to teach you arterial blood gases interpretation in a simplified way. Before we begin, you have to know the normal ranges of arterial blood gases. As you can see this arrow, the neutral level of pH is 7.4 and normally it ranges between 7.35 to 7.45. So if the pH is less than 7.35, it is on the acidotic side and if it is more than 7.45 it is on the alkaline or basic side. The partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 35 to 45 so anything more than 45 is acidotic and anything less than 35 is alkaline. The bicarb level if it is less than 22 it is acidotic and if it is more than 26 it is alkaline. The levels of carbon dioxide and bicarb determine whether it is respiratory or metabolic acidosis or alkalosis respectively. The partial pressure of oxygen is normally 75 to 100, but it only determines whether the patient is hypoxic or not. So the interpretation basically depends on these three parameters. Now look at this picture. It's like a tic-tac-toe. Just keep this in your mind or I take a screenshot or draw it in on a paper with me and according to this tic-tac-toe we'll learn how to interpret ABGs. Now look at this example. pH is 7.5. 7.5 means that it is more than 7.45 so it will be on the alkaline side. So we'll put pH here. Then we look at PCO2. PCO2 is 20, which means it is less than 35. So it's also on the alkaline side. So we put PCO2 under the alkaline as well. And bicarb is 22, which is the normal range. So we put bicarb here. Sorry, it's bicarb. So pH determines that this is alkalosis and the level of carbon dioxide determines that it is respiratory alkalosis, right? Here's another example. So if you see that in this example pH is more than 7.45 again, it's 7.79, so pH will be here. PCO2 is 24, which is less than 35, so it means that it is again alkaline. So here is the PCO2. But the bicarb is 21. That is, it is less than 22, so it is on the acidotic side. So bicarb comes here. Now pH level determines that it is alkalosis. Carbon dioxide determines that it is respiratory alkalosis. And the low levels of bicarb on the acidic side determine that it is trying to compensate this alkalosis. So we term this as partially compensated respiratory alkalosis. Here's the third example. So here the pH is 7.15, which is acidic. PCO2 is 46, more than 45, again on the acidic side. Bicarb is 34, more than 26, so it is on the alkaline side. pH determines that this is acidosis. The carbon dioxide determines that this is respiratory acidosis and bicarb being on the alkaline side means that it is trying to compensate this so it is partially compensated respiratory acidosis. In this example you can see that the pH is normal. PCO2 is 30 so it means it is on the alkaline side 
and bicarb is 15 that is less than 22 so it is on the acidic side now here's the tricky part how do you know that this is acidosis or alkalosis because the pH is normal now if you see here we said that the neutral value of pH is 7.4 and it ranges between 7.35 to 7.45 so anything less than 7.4 is more towards the acidic side and more than 7.4 is more towards the alkaline side so this pH of 7.36 is actually more towards the acidic side so we will consider this as acidosis now because bicarb is on the acidic side so we will say that it is metabolic acidosis and here the carbon dioxide is trying to compensate this metabolic acidosis but in this case it is fully compensated metabolic acidosis why because the pH is in the normal range now let's do another example pH of 7.33 means it is acidic PCO2 of 22 is alkaline and bicarb of 21 is acidic right so what is this this is acidosis which one metabolic being partially compensated by carbon dioxide here's another one pH here is 7.51 which means it is on the alkaline side PCO2 is 44 so it is between 35 to 45 so that's normal and bicarb is 27 more than 26 so it is alkaline so what is this Al alkalosis which one metabolic right Example number 7, so pH is 7.35, which is normal. PCO2 is 42, between 35 to 45, that's also normal. And bicarb is 25, that is between 22 to 26, so that's also normal. So here we have a normal arterial blood gases result let's do another example so here the pH is 7.45 which is normal PCO2 is 48 that is more than 45 so it will be on the acidic side bicarb is 28 more than 26 so that means it is on the alkaline side again now we have to see that the pH is more towards alkaline side or acidic side is 7.45 right so it is more towards the alkaline side here so this is alkalosis which alkalosis metabolic being compensated by CO2 so fully compensated metabolic alkalosis in this example pH is acidic PCO2 is also acidic and bicarb is also acidic so this is termed as combined respiratory and metabolic acidosis finally in the last example pH is 7.2 acidic PCO2 normal bicarb 10 acidic so what is this metabolic acidosis remember that metabolic acidosis is divided into normal anion gap and a high anion gap it is important to know these types because the causes differ anion gap is measured by sodium plus potassium minus chloride plus bicarb in some countries such as United States, potassium is not included in the formula. That's it guys. Take care. God bless you all.